So hi guys, this time we're going to look at the Books feature in Affinity Publisher, where you can take control of your manuscripts and using the Books feature of Affinity Publisher really make managing your documents a lot easier. A publisher book project allows you to collate multiple Affinity Publisher documents into a single publication for editing and output purposes. Affinity Publisher's Books panel provides a visual overview from which you can specify Affinity Publisher documents to include 1. Chapters 2. Set the order of chapters 3. Ensure continuity of page, list and note numbering 4. Synchronize styles from a designated style source chapter to other chapters 5. Determine how stray pages between consecutive chapters are handled 6. Perform pre-flight checks on chapters 7. Export or print selected or all chapters. So let's have an in-depth look at how to use the books option to master your manuscript management. Now, creating books. Books are created and their contents managed using the books panel, on which you can add, remove, replace and rearrange chapters. When you add a document created in an older version of Affinity to a book, you'll be warned that proceeding will modify the document just as normal, making it no longer usable in older versions of Affinity. If you wish to use the document in older versions, make a copy first and add the copy to your book instead. Managing a book's chapters. Each document added to a book may represent a literal chapter of your publication, but it doesn't have to. Now the key is there. Each document added to your book doesn't actually have to be a chapter. It could be any part of your book because you can rearrange them and do with them what you will. How your publication is divided into discrete documents is your decision, which may be influenced by your production workflow. You're no longer locked to having chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 and have to find your way through them to work on what you want to work on. Put those chapters in a book and work on each one as you like. You can come back and edit chapter 5 without having to wade through all the others, for example. Multiple chapters can be simultaneously added or removed. One chapter at a time can be re replaced or rearranged. Replacing chapters can help in a collaborative workflow. For example, upon receiving a version that has been copy edited. Adding a document as a chapter automatically modifies its file, for example, to fit the pagination of the book. If the document will be added to multiple publications, it's recommended that you add a copy of the document to each one. Don't use the original if you need to use it elsewhere. Now, stray pages, those odd pages that are left at the ends of books and at the ends of chapters. For books that contain facing page spreads, and let's face it, that's most of them, there are two behaviours that determine how stray page, single pages at the end, or start of consecutive chapters, are handled. When one chapter ends with a left page and the next chapter starts on a right page, Affinity can emerge these stray pages into a facing pages spread. That's really simple. Where only one stray page exists between consecutive chapters, Affinity can pad the document, i.e. insert pages, in order to maintain facing pages spreads. Now the basic instructions and getting started is quite easy. To create a book, do one of the following. Select File, New Book, and if the Books panel is visible, either click Create Book on the panel, available if no books are open, select New Book from the Panel Preferences menu. menu sorry. On the Books panel, click Add Chapter. Browse to and select one or more Affinity Publisher documents, save with the AFPub file extension, and click Open. Alternative Drag one or more Affinity Publisher documents onto the Books panel and drop them at the position where you wish to add them as chapters. I might add the Books panel is not visible by default. Go to the Windows 
and click on Make Books Visible. It's that's that simple. To remove chapters on the Books panel, select one or more chapters. Click Remove Chapter. Browse to and select an Affinity Publisher document, then click Open. To replace chapters. On the Books panel, select a chapter. From the panel Preferences menu, select Replace Chapter. To change chapter order, on the Books panel, drag a chapter up or down the list. When you see a blue line at the desired position, drop the chapter. To allow consecutive stray pages to be merged into facing page spreads on the Books panel again, open the Panel Preferences menu. From the Stray Pages sub-menu, ensure Merge Where Possible is checked. To allow padding so that single stray pages become facing page spreads, on the Books panel, open the Panel Preferences menu. From the Stray Pages sub-menu, Ensure Pad is checked. Now the Books panel itself. The Books panel allows you to manage multiple documents as a cohesive publication. From the Books panel, you can create books and add documents to them as chapters. You can specify the order of chapters. Review and edit the page numbering or pagination of all chapters. Synchronise master pages, text styles, document palettes and table formats from a designated style source chapter to other chapters. Now if you have a look at that guidebook example that's there, you'll see there's a key next to front matter. That's your master chapter if you like. That's your style source. Open chapter documents for editing. You can review file and pre-flight statuses of all chapters. That's the little coloured pages on the right hand side. Package, print, export selected chapters or the whole book. Exporting to a PDF, say, creates a single file. Now this panel is hidden by default as I mentioned before. It can be switched on via the Window menu. Now the panel detail, which is hidden by default. As a summary, I can provide you with some general information about the Books panel in Affinity Publisher based on its functionality in all versions. The Books panel is a powerful tool in Affinity Publisher that allows you to manage and organize complex multi-page documents such as books, magazines, brochures, and catalogs. Here are some key features typically found in the Books panel. 1. Document Management the Books panel helps you manage multiple documents within a single project. You can add, remove, and reorder the documents in your book project easily. 2. Master Pages Affinity Publisher allows you to create master pages, which are templates that define the layout and formatting for your document's pages. The Books panel lets you synchronize master pages across multiple documents in your book project, ensuring consistent design elements throughout. 3. Pagination The Books panel provides controls for managing page numbering and section breaks across different documents within your book project. You can set the start page number for each document and automatically update page numbering throughout the project. 4. Text and Image Linking When working on books or other multi-page publications, you may have text or image elements that need to flow from one page to another. The Books panel enables you to link text frames or image frames across different pages or documents, allowing content to automatically flow from one area to another. 5. Exporting The Books panel simplifies the export process for your book project. You can choose to export individual documents or the entire book as a single PDF or other supported file formats. Additionally, you can customize export settings for each document or apply them universally to the entire book. Please note that the specific features and capabilities of the Books panel in Affinity Publisher may have been expanded or changed in version 2.1 or later. To get the most accurate and up-to-date information on the features available in that specific version, I recommend referring to the official documentation or release notes provided by Serif, the developer of Affinity Publisher. So let's set up a book and we'll do that by having a brief look using Affinity Publisher itself. 
not in a particular order, but as an introduction to the forthcoming rather larger tutorial on using books. So let's have a look at how the books option works. Now here's books and I've got it over there in its own added to the tab bar there. Now if you go to window you can see that books is normally it's on here but it's normally hidden. The default is hidden but I've turned it on because we're working with it. Fairly obvious. Now to create a books section here now we've got a couple of sections. Shanghai Pirates is this one here. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 you can see I'm working on. But to create a books panel file and new book now i don't want to create a new book at the moment because i've got two in here there's book layout one let's have a look at that one book layout one how to lay out a book pages one to twelve and i to eleven my book layout these aren't synchronized yet but the one i'm working on currently is shanghai pirates now you can have as many as you like in there that list of books can be as long as your arm. There's one, there's two books, and it's the second book with the tick that I'm working on. Now, Shanghai Pirates, let's double click on that, and you can see those green bars there, all tests passed. It means I've synchronized those two chapters. Now, what does this mean? That's pages one to ten, and there it pops up when I double click on the first section, chapter one. Now from then on it behaves just like um, a normal document. Master page and pages. Now this first one is the controlling document. Let me go back there. This one you can see it's locked there and it has those things there. It's the controlling document and I can make all the settings I like in here and it applies to following chapters or parts of the book. This means I can work on this one. Oops. I can work on this one. And there's nothing in there at the moment, obviously. You can see that. If I go down there, back to that one there. Or I can go to the master pages and double click there. Now you can see I've got page numbers here. Down the bottom there, I've put page numbers in the master page. Now that's a normal document I've set up for, I forget what size it is, 8 by 9 um, size book, or it might be yeah, 6, six by 9 sorry, a 6 by 9 size book. I could go and look it up up here somewhere, but we're not worried about that at the moment. That's the master page and the sub pages. Let's go back to the book where I'm working, and I've added that there. Now this is part of the book, and I've included the page numbers it starts at 11 let's go to pages there's pages page 11 page 12 uh, page 13 you can see down there 14 and 15 there now they're carrying on from this is a concept that's a little difficult to get your head around. They're carrying on those numbers. You can see the first one is pages 1 to 10 and then pages 11 to 15. Now pages 1 to 10 in chapter 1 and that's the master page. Okay, where were we up to? Shanghai Pirates, pages 1 to 10. Shanghai Pirates, chapter 2, pages 11 to 15. Now I've got nothing in pages 1 to 10 at the moment, but that is normally where your front matter would go. Let me display that pages. Now I don't want the master pages, I just want that one there. There we go, page 1 of section of 1 to 10. You can put sections in that, they're all controlled from the book pane. Now what this means is that you can, for example, chapter one, we could put one in there that's purely front matter. Let me go and show you this. There's the story I'm writing, Shanghai Pirates. It's chapter one, two, three, four, 
five, six, so on. I can add each of those that I like. There's front matter. We'll just leave that there for the moment. But that's how easy it is to add a chapter. And that you can see is simply what's in it. Now I can work on that as an entirely separate document. There's the front cover. There's the introduction and so forth. There's the main text. And back cover. So that's an entirely separate document. But because it's now in the book section, I could compile all that together. I could put its master pages. I could remove its master pages and then reapply the controlling documents master pages. And you can see the color there. It's not full of warnings probably spelling mistakes and things like that because it's the lorem ipsum text in there <laughs> which is full of mistakes well misspelt words but that's all there is to it at this introduction the next video i'll actually completely build a book from start to finish so you can see exactly how it works but this is the introduction just remember that books is controlled by not that one See, they all disappear, those ones that we've just got. I've now got a completely different book I'm working on. There's a half title with its front matter. There's 11 pages in there. Let's have a look. There's the front matter. So I could rename that document to front matter. Because what's it called at the moment? My book layout. And there's Shanghai Pirates. A good story. Pulp fiction type story. Developing it slowly. Okay, that'll do for now. Thanks for watching to this stage. Hope you subscribe. And that way you'll get notified when the next, um, when the next video uh, tutorial in this series comes up. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.